Okay, reflections of light. So let's begin with the types of mirror first. Huh? Okay, types of mirrors. Uh, there are three types. This is this is called the plane mirrors. Huh? So this is called the plane mirrors. These two are curved mirrors. Okay, you can see that there's a curve here. Okay, there's a curve here. And uh, for the curved mirror, this one. Okay, this one is called uh, the concave mirror. Concave mirror. Uh, this is convex mirrors. And this is a concave mirror. Now, how to remember this? Uh, okay, sometimes students they have problems uh, uh, to remember the name of these two mirrors. Okay, convex, concave. How do we know which one is concave? How do we know which one is convex? Okay, uh, for concave mirrors, uh, you can see that okay, it cave in. Uh, okay, for example, let's say this is a a hill. Okay, it's a hill, and then uh, this is the cave. Okay, this is the cave. So for con concave mirror, it cave in to the hill. Okay, so that's why we call it concave mirror. That that is how we remember. Try to remember this. Eh? So for concave mirror, it cave in. Eh? So if we have a mirrors, it's a mirror. So the concave mirror, it cave in. It's like a cave here. Okay, so this is concave mirror. Okay, so that is uh, for the types of mirrors. Eh? Let's continue with the laws of reflections. Yeah, laws of reflection. Before we learn the laws of reflections, uh, then uh, you need to know the some important terms. Uh, some important terms for reflections. Okay, let's say this is a mirror, and uh, if we this is a point of reflection. Let's say we have a light ray, and the light ray hit this point. Uh, this is called the points of reflections. And uh, if we draw a line perpendicular, this line, okay, this line perpendicular to the mirror 90 degree yeah, at right angles 90 degree right here it's 90 degree 90 degree with the plane okay and this line is called the normal okay this line is called the normal and uh this is a light ray this light ray it hit this point okay this is called the points of reflection and then it's reflected okay it's reflected so this is called the incident ray okay this is called the incident ray and uh the angle between the incident ray and the normal the incident ray and the normal is called the angles of incidence. All the angles are uh, is always measured from the normal. Okay, all angles must be measured from the normal. Eh? Okay, so if if this is a ray, eh, okay, sometimes uh, some students they may measure these angles. Okay, so they measure this angle and then they think that this is the angles of incidence. That's not true. Okay, all angles must be measured from the normal. Okay, so this is normal. And this is incident ray. So the angle between the incident ray and the normal is called the angles of incident. And uh, of course, the angle uh, between the normal and the reflected ray is called the angles of reflections. Okay, angles of reflections. Uh, and this is normal. Eh? Normal. This is uh, incident ray. Okay, this is reflected ray. Okay, so that's the terms that you need to know. Uh, normal, incident ray, reflected ray, angles of incidence, and angles of reflections. And always remember, all angles must be measured from normal. So, according to the laws of reflections, uh, according to the laws of reflections, the angles of incidence must be equal to the angles of reflections. So that is the laws of Reflections. Okay, there, actually, there are two laws of reflections. Uh, this is the first law: angles of incidence must be equal to the angles of reflections. Uh, okay, so this is uh, laws of reflections. And above the angles of incidence and the angles of reflection must be measured from the normal, as I told you just now, right? Uh, we must measure it from the normal. The second law of reflections. Okay, now the second laws of uh, reflections says that the incident ray. The reflected ray and the normal, okay, it must be light on the same plane, means on the same surface, okay. This tree, yeah? okay, this tree, these three lines, the normal, incident rays, and reflected ray, it must be on the same surface, uh, it must lie on the same surface. So that is the second law. Types of images. So there are two types of image real image and a virtual image. It's very important for you to know these two types of image. Eh? Okay, so how do we know? How do we know an, Im an image is real image or virtual image? A real image is the image that can form on a screen. Okay, for example, so in cinema, this is a projectors. 
okay this is a projectors and uh, this projectors it projects it projects the pictures on the screen this is a screen right okay this is in, in the cinema okay this these are the audience eh? and uh, at the back we have a projectors this projectors projects the image on the screen okay so this image is formed on the screen okay this image form on the screen and these types of image is called a real image it's a real image eh? then how about virtual image Virtual image is the image that cannot form on the screen. Now, what types of image cannot form on the screen? Uh, mirror, okay? This is, a, this is a mirror, okay? So image, image, the image is not on the screen, okay? The image is inside. If this is a mirror, okay, you will find that all the image is inside the mirror, okay? If you stand uh, one meter from the mirror, then you will find that the image is one meter from the mirror. Okay, so the the image is not on the screen. Eh? The image is inside, inside the screen. Okay, it's not on the screen. And these types of image is called the virtual image, virtual image. And these are the the, the, the definitions. Eh? A real image is the image that can form on the screen, and a virtual image is the image that cannot form on the screen. Okay, and you must memorize. The, the definitions okay because an exam they may ask you okay what does it mean by real image or oh, then is then you say that a real image is an image that can form on a screen now a screen can be anything so, okay it can be a wall eh? it, can, it can be a wall okay and it can be the cinema screen eh? or can it can be the whiteboard or blackboard okay not necessarily it must be on a cinema screen okay it can be whiteboard blackboard or even on a wall okay okay so that is uh, two types of uh, images